Well, good evening, everybody. This is a bit of a new one for us. We're uh, we're in London Gateway Services, as you, would, as you would expect, right. just on the outskirts of London, and we're heading right into the centre of London, into the poshest, poshest part, and that's Mayfair. We're collecting a load of um, exhibition equipment that's been used today. Um, the job was slightly altered in that it's, it, it was supposed to be uh, travelling down yesterday, but because of the Queen's funeral that wasn't possible. So the gear was delivered on Sunday and I believe set up yesterday for use today. Uh, which is what I'm going down to collect now. So we'll show you just a bit further on when things start to get interesting in the central London and definitely when we get to Mayfair. Well, the standard of driving is still as crazy as ever. I've just had a taxi driver tried to come up a gap up the inside of me that was about three foot wide, barely wide enough for a cyclist, who seemed to ignore every sort of um, uh, traffic light and road signal that's uh, as though it's not meant for them. So I wonder there's, uh, there's accidents with cyclists in fairness, and I'm a cyclist myself so I would normally stick up for them. But some of these are just crazy. Scooters nipping in and out, buses just pulling out, taxi drivers wanting to get everywhere in a rush. Uh, and this is on the A5, we're on the Edgware Road at the minute. So what I'm trying to do is straddle a couple of lanes just so I don't get blocked in, because if I stick to the inside lane, nobody will let me out. And if I stick to the outside lane, the taxi drivers just want to come up the inside of you. And as you can see up there, there's a bus, um, a motorbike parked on double yellows, and cars just after that. So it's uh, it's tight everywhere. Anyway, well, we had to wait for two turns of them lights because the clown up in front in the black Peugeot decided to fall asleep. So they changed to green, and we missed them. So we've only just got through them. I'm only uh, 2.7 miles from the collection point now. So that's good. It's taken me 27 minutes to do about seven miles. So I've just got two and a half left to go. Um, in fairness, five of those seven miles would have been on the motorway. So that were sort of 50 mile an hour. But yeah, not, not far to go now, but it is likely to get uh, busier because we, we're getting towards the centre of London. We go along Park Lane and then I turn left into Mayfair and it get, gets quite some quite narrow streets then, but we'll see. The good thing about London is there's all sorts of sights and sounds to see. It's, it's it is buzzing, fair play. It's an amazing place. It's just not the best place to come in a truck. But anyway, no charge really. There's a market up that side street there. So the whole street, if you wanted to get up it, the whole street is blocked off. And it's six o'clock at night now, it's still there. No sign of them packing up. Street tr street vendors there, look just at the side of the road. Don't they? Oh, fresh orange juice and SIM cards and vapes. <laughs> Just less than two miles to go now to the collection point, but you can see the traffic on the flyover up ahead's queuing and we're queuing here, so yeah, it's busy. You can smell the um, the vapes, look at that. See old matey boy on the scooter there, he ain't bothered for no red lights, straight through. Just had a phone call from the guys. I'm supposed to get there, or they want to be there about half past six. Um, it's 10 past six now, and I'm 1.2 miles away, so I'll do that easily enough. Um, 
but the good thing is they've said everything's ready and down on the loading bay, so should get a nice quick turn round down there, as long as I don't miss any turnings and I can get into uh, to park up to load. So this is Marble Arch on my right. I'm going After round to the, to the right. I'm wanting to go down here, which should Take be the next left. Which should be parked then in. Keep right. And off the BMW park lane, which I believe to be on here. Uh, off the BMW park lane, as I say, which I believe to be on here, um, I was wanting to turn left. If you back squat, sort of squirrel towards that loading bay, yeah. pull up before you get to it and yeah. drop the tail lift and then back up here. Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys will start trapping behind you now. Great laugh, eh? Top set of lads there, uh, everything ready, all waiting on the loading bay for me. Block the traffic, back me onto the loading bay, 20 minutes and away. Can't fault them. So we've uh, we've come back round past Marble Arch and we're back on the A5 Edgware Road, heading north. We'll pick up the motorway heading out of London. And if we have a good run, then we should get back without needing a break. Uh, which I don't think I'm going to, so I might have to fit another break in, which is a bit of a pain Take in the, the back side. Right. So we're just um, half a mile from the bottom of the M1 at the moment. Uh, traffic's fairly heavy, it's quarter past seven at night. I wouldn't have thought it'd be this bad, but it is what it is. Um, it's taken an hour and 20, so I'm 10 minutes off the services. So an hour and a half to do just short of 20 miles, maybe 19 miles in London traffic. No wonder you lose parts of your day. And I used to come down here with multi drops in an Arctic, Piccadilly Circus, Oxford Street, with A to Z's as well, not with sat navs. So, yeah, we'll jump on the uh, M1 in the next five or ten minutes and then head north. I'm not going to be able to do it back in one hit, so I'm going to need a break on the way. If there's out to show you, 
I'll let you see it. Here we are, that's us. All done and dusted. Just getting back in the car now. Um, Packed the wagon up. Job done. Thanks for watching, folks. Please hit the subscribe button. It does really help. And uh, click the notification bell and you'll get notified of when the next video comes live on YouTube.